How to write an effective NGO annual report using Microsoft Word. Annual report? Doesn't sound too appealing. One could see them as a tough obligation, but in most cases, the decision to write one is entirely yours. On the other hand, in some countries, particular NGOs, for example, public benefit organizations or foundations, are actually required to deliver a report once a year. Make sure to double check local law. If you aren't required to produce an annual report, why put in a lot of time and effort for something that is not required? At least three reasons come to mind. First, it's good to have one when you want to share a history of annual efforts and achievements with supporters. A good report is a powerful fundraising tool. Also, passers-by may come across your annual report on the web. Help them spread the word and raise awareness about the social issues you address. Second, time spent writing a report can be very useful for an organization. It encourages teams to look back at past experiences and draw conclusions. Reflecting on what happened and worked is often a springboard for new ideas and projects. Third, having a set of, say, 20 annual reports might sound a too far-reaching goal today. But the time flies, and after a while, you'll appreciate being able to boast about past year's work and have the documents to support it, which can significantly boost your credibility. So you've decided to prepare your first annual report. What should you do? Collect content throughout the year, take pictures at events, know anything worth passing on. Don't forget about written permission to publish people's pictures. This especially applies to children. When writing, don't let trivia slip your mind. Remember about your nonprofit's name, contact data, and other legally required information, if applicable. Also be wary of jargon. Some of the terms we use every day might be alien to those outside the third sector. Dedicate special attention to the core of your report, projects, most important events, and achievements of the year. Talk about them in a concise manner so that they're understandable and clear. Don't forget about the money. Presenting your budget openly proves your NGO is credible and accountable. Show both the sources of your budget and spending. Show the most important numbers. Highlight the indispensable. Mention your sponsors, partners, collaborators, and friends. They'll appreciate the recognition, but be sure to ask. Some donors wish to remain anonymous. And remember, less is more. You don't want to distract or bore your readers, do you? What you want is to talk about the past year at your NGO, raise awareness of the problems you deal with, and prove yourself professional, passionate, and credible. No more, no less. How to organize that all into one document? Microsoft Word is here to help. Clothes don't make the man, but it's often the first impression that counts. Microsoft Word is a good option for every nonprofit that needs to deliver a printed or PDF version of a report, has no time nor resources to hire a graphic designer to produce a little work of art, or simply wants to stick to traditional layout. Opening a new Word file, naming it, and saving it sounds like a good start. Let's assume you've already thought over the contents and structure of your document, gathered the materials. What next? Let's get acquainted with styles and themes. These word features allow you to create customized documents that can be repeated multiple times, a very useful feature for a nonprofit that produces numerous texts. Themes do the layout for you and allow you to change the whole document at once. Whether you want to switch from blue headings to red ones or a Calibri to Cambria, themes are there for you. Let's make a theme template. We'll call it an annual report template. Paste a random text in the document so that you can see how the layout changes as you try different options. Pick the Home tab and go to the Styles section. Mark any sentence as Title, Headings, Quotes, and Others. It will later allow you to build an automated table of contents. Go to References tab and pick Table of Contents. Then enter the Design tab and pick a theme of your choice. You can customize it to fit your needs and taste. Adjust fonts, sizes, and colors. Add your organization's logo. It's best to place it either in the header footer of your document or as a watermark. Go to the Design tab and pick Watermark. However, if you use many pictures in your documents, 
It's not recommended to use watermarks because the document may become unclear. Now you can insert the cover page. Go to the Insert tab and pick a cover of your choice from the options offered. It will adjust automatically to your chosen theme. Set your margins. Go to the Page Layout tab and pick Margins. And Orientation right from the Margins button. Don't forget to number your pages. Choose different front page in header and footer tools. You may need to add references to your text. For example, sources of citations or additional explanations. To do it, go to the References tab and pick Insert EndNote or Footnote, depending on how many of them you're planning. If there are plenty of them, it's better to pick EndNotes. They won't blur the image. You may wish to add some hyperlinks. Go to Insert tab, Hyperlink. Or put your text in columns. Go to the Page Layout tab and pick Columns. To insert Excel tables into your Word document and keep them in your chosen theme, out of the available paste options, choose Use Destination Theme and Link Data. It'll allow you to make changes to your Excel document and semi-automatically update table in your Word document. You'll need to press Refresh Data button. And last but not least, while working on a document with another person, you'll surely appreciate two buttons hidden under the Review tab, New Comment and Track Changes. Finally, don't forget to allow Widow Orphan Control. Right-click your mouse, pick Paragraph, Line and Page Breaks, and make a tick. Always justify your text. Press Ctrl-J on the keyboard or go to the Home tab and pick the right button in the Paragraph section. Then get rid of short words at the end of the lines using a hard space. Shift, Enter. And lastly, don't forget to save your annual report template so that you can use it in the next year. Good luck with your reports and spreading the word!